Uh, we were, you know, physically beaten. I feel like we were, <clears throat> uh, you know, they carried stronger than us. We got beaten. We were sort of put on our back. Um, we, you know, looked pretty flat there at times. Guys were, you know, a bit underdone on playing NRL. You know, we just we just had too many that that. Uh, couldn't get to a standard that we wanted to, and that's you know that that was where we're at with the um, with our prep going in. We sort of knew that, but then you can't compound that with you know you have to have high possession and 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 you know uh, low error counts to to make up for that, and we compounded that with high error count um, uh, to go on the back of that. So you know we were I felt like we were brave in the way that we sort of fought hard when we weren't in form. You know, we were we were trying to work it out, but we just, uh, yeah, we just we we couldn't um, we couldn't overcome that uh, the the errors and and the physicality. Is that a byproduct? You think of maybe the injuries last year, or is the lack of match readiness for some of these? No, nah, it's just we just couldn't get um, we just couldn't get enough guys to trial. You know, of our top guys, we just couldn't get enough, and um, and that's our fault. You know, we we just couldn't get enough, and that they looked like they hadn't played a game. Um, uh, but then I said, on the back of it, there's enough experience there to say, well, you know, how do we manage the game well to to do that? And we did the opposite of that. So they put those two together, and and we got well beaten today. It was uncharacteristic from the Roosters, I think, but no reason to panic though. Losing a round one <laughs> game is not something that I'm yeah, sure is going to stress you out. No, no, no. It's a it's round one. Um, you know, you always want to win round one. You know, you everything builds up to that game. Um, but it's a really good mirror. You know, we got what we deserved today by a team that, you know, um, trialled uh, well, you know, to, to, to get in there and they, they, they played lots of minutes and then they hit the, you know, they were good, they were physical. They've been good in the ruck and good in the, um, the carrying of the ball really well and they just did that really well and, and kicked the ball back to us. You know, when I think we were in the 60s there in the 80s and they're more physical than you, then you're not going to win games. And how did losing Victor in the first half affect all of that? Yeah, you know, and then your interchange with, you know, one point we we're down to one there mm. on the interchange. That you know, that that's um, losing both Victor and Billy. Um, you know, to that was you know without concussions was tough. Yeah, were, you, were, you across, were, you, were you across the process that ruled Victor out of the match? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Like, I think you mean as in the bunker. The bunker intervening and automatically ruling out of the match. Yeah, yeah. Look, I, I I understood that, but you know the you know he went straight to his neck. He's got no concussion. Billy's got no concussion. Didn't even remember an incident until the doctor showed him. So for them to go category one instead of category two was tough for us. You know, you got to give some faith to the doctors to to look at it as well. So you know they don't have any symptoms at all. You know, so that, um, but I think the process um, is right what they're trying to put in. It's just, you know, you've got to be careful. But just confirm, uh, Billy was the same, was it? That came from the bunker? Category one, from the bunker. And he had no obvious sign of None. Really. That must be frustrating, uh, I guess. Uh, it's frustrating in the moment, but I agree with the, the what they've gone to. Yeah. You know, they've, they've made a call on, on how to... Um, get rid of the, the cheating of the system which has been there, which we all can acknowledge is there, and they've gone to a better system, um, but they've got to also make sure that they, you know, they're not pulling guys out of games without any symptoms at all. You know, there has to be some consultation there on those, that sort of stuff. So, but, yeah, so for us, um, that's not why we lost the game. You know, we would have lost the game anyway, um, but let's get better at that system. Yeah, 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 very clunky. Um, then we probably tried, we're trying very hard, and then we just we have an error, and we just didn't build any any pressure or, or possession down in down in our end. And um, yeah, as Robbo said, they they were more ready to play than us. Did you have a view on the no try like about ten minutes to disallow play yeah. that you scored? Yeah, I, I asked the ref. I, I don't know where Connor's supposed to go or what he's supposed to do there, so I, I don't think he impacted the play. I mean, there are there's deliberate sleepers. You can tell that when they when they stop in the line. But Connor was behind the line. He wasn't involved in the play, so I didn't, I didn't really. Yeah, I, I thought that was a try.
there have been a few of those this week already, a couple in the Penrith game. Have you got any views on, have they changed the rules or anything, do you think? Well, they haven't said it, but it's obvious that they have, and it's great. I think that's a, a really good that they're not getting in those kick returns and all of that, where people are standing in the way. As I said, like that was a, you're on a kick return. Guys are obviously going to be on this side of the ball on long kicks, and you don't want them standing in front of the line and 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 infringing. But Connor was behind the line, and then we make a break. It's sort of a, I don't know. It's a that's an, that's an, um, something that we haven't seen before. From what you did see from Luke and Sam. Are you happy with how they're going, given this was the fans' first look at the combination? Uh, yeah, I thought it was looked like they hadn't played much together yeah. today. Um, and they'll get better. They'll get a lot better. What about Lindsay Collins, Trent? Been close to report. Have you got anything to worry about there? You... Oh, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I mean, all of that's changed, you know. It's um, So, yeah, I don't know, to be honest, Chris. Do you think that often at this time of the year, Colts you talk about teams, you know, winning the rock and kind of trying to earn the right to play, and it seems to me almost that Newcastle did that more out wide than in the middle. You know, the way that they took the ball back in from kicks, etc. Do you think that's potentially where you got beat? Uh, look, I don't think their their outside backs brought them back to the middle. You know, that's that's obviously that's how they're going to get there. They they carried really well, and then they brought it back into the middle of the field. Uh, to get that momentum. They had a couple of short sides where they, they really they hit the, the, the scrum lines a lot to lay their momentum and then they they shift off man or play short sides and they got us on a couple of short sides there. Um, but it was the momentum from those outside backs that started the rot for them. And was that something you looked at and said, thought that they might do or was that a surprise to you? No, no, no. We, you know, you, we knew their plan. You know, we just didn't, we couldn't combat it. Thanks. Thanks.